A steadfast surfer and an active mum to three young boys, Sam Bloom's life was full of adrenaline and adventure. Until a tragic accident on a family holiday in Thailand changed her life forever. Ah! Sam was paralysed from the chest down. Can you feel this? Can you feel this? <laughs> After months of despair, Sam found purpose befriending a battered and bruised magpie. She needs a name. Penguin. Her inspiring story was first transformed into a book five years ago. Then Hollywood swooped in. The boys and I were struggling. Oh, you're struggling. Yes, it's all of us. A-listers Naomi Watts and Andrew Lincoln quickly sorry, signed on to play best. Sam and her husband Cam in Penguin Bloom. What an incredible story. How does it feel to see your life on the big screen? <laughs> well, it's a pretty surreal experience, to be honest. I mean, yeah, it, I mean, we're just us. You know, we're just a normal family. And never in a million years would we have thought someone would want to tell our story and have it on the big screen. So, yeah, it's an honour. Can you take me back to the start, Cam? How did this all come about? You know, after Sam came home from hospital as a family, we were just suffering enormously and, and we're all so sad and then when Penguin arrived you know everything kind of changed and uh, I began documenting the interactions of the boys with Penguin and at that time there was a real shift in in um, in everyone's kind of mindset and particularly Sam's don't you think? Yeah definitely she just brought like dish, uh, a good good energy to our house yeah which was so nice because I think um I don't know, I had like this dark cloud kind of over me the whole time. And you know, I made everybody sad. Sam, it, it was such an awful thing that you went through. How has it been now revisiting the incident, not just in the book, but also now in the movie and, and talking about it in interviews? Um, I mean, I don't mind talking about the accident because I actually don't remember it. For me, that's not terribly traumatic. It would be yeah. for camp and kids because they saw it. But um, yeah, sure, it, it's hard. Like. Um, I think it's hard for me to talk about that guilt. Yeah, yeah. How guilt as a mum and a wife and a friend and you know how I pushed everyone away and, and I didn't feel like a very good mum. And that is portrayed in the film, you know, the guilt and the anger and the sadness. So yeah, it's pretty confronting. I thought Naomi was just incredible. Were you happy with how she told your story? Uh, I actually, honestly, I thought she was extraordinary. Yeah. She, like, she just captured the essence of exactly how I was feeling at the time. You know, like just this pure frustration and anger and sadness, you know, and, and a few happy moments. But yeah, no, I loved it. And I love the fact that she um, she wasn't terribly vocal. Like she was quite quiet, which is what I am. You know, I don't go around complaining and whinging, not, not too much, maybe a little bit. But yeah, it was just her expression. Just her, yeah, it's amazing that's what you can... All was yeah. just, her, just this look, and you could tell she is so angry and so devastated. So uh, to me, I mean, she absolutely nailed it. Mm. I thought she was phenomenal. I'm here. I'm your mum. Same mum. It started when she uh, was given a book, our, our book, um, Penguin Bloom. She read it with her kids and absolutely loved it and said, you know, so I think she sent us a, a lovely letter saying, you know, I'd just love to be involved and be honoured to play, play Sam. It's such an incredible journey you've been on over the past few years. What do you hope people take from this film when they go to see it? I hope they um, walk out, like, you know, feeling that there is still hope. You know, if some tragic event happens in your life, yeah, obviously it's devastating, but there is hope at the end. And finding a purpose again. Yeah, she gave me a purpose. I mean, when I got on the um, team for kayaking, I had a purpose. I had a reason to get out of bed. I think what I loved as well is just how beautiful the healing power of animals is. You see it in dogs and cats, but not necessarily in magpies. I think what's really strange is, like, besides people's perceptions of, you know, bombing magpies and stuff, it's such a common bird and we see them all the time, but I don't think anyone's really seen the, the close uh, connection that our boys and, and Sam had with a bird. Penguin was never a pet. You know, she certainly slept inside the house for plenty of times, but, you know, when the doors opened in the morning, she would go for the day, you know, and we wouldn't see her, sometimes three days. So it was just some um, really lovely connection um, of not knowing when she would turn up. I think that was really cool. Penguin Bloom will fly into cinemas on Thursday. Samantha Foxen, Sky News.